feel like I should be doing something right now instead of watching YouTube videos. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. Anyways. Hello there. Today is going to be another unboxing. Ta -da! Now this is a different angle on things, isn't it? So let's get the stabbing. Stab, 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 stab. Ooh, you got paper. So we have a box in a box. All right, so this is going to be a top open. Oh, more stabbing. Oh, forgot to say stab. Some plastic bubble pillows. And we have another box. Do, do, do. Ibanez. 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 I wonder what this could be. More stabbing. Hopefully my head's not getting in the way of all this. All right, so this is supposed to be a brand new, brand new guitar. So I have an extra spring, Allen keys, whammy bar, and another one of these cheap ass, trust, uh, what do you call it? The damn, uh, oh God, patch cords. Uh, we have another limited warranty. And another Bible for the guitar, which is always good. So let's check this thing out. I'm hoping that this was bought as a bid. And I got it new as a bid. I hate those things. So let's check this thing out. Hopefully everything's okay. It came in yesterday. I didn't feel like doing a video yesterday with this. Ooh, pretty. So this one has the uh, Floyd Rose on there. Now it's an Ibanez Tremolo. It does not look like, it looks like a Floyd Rose. It does not look like the um, uh, the Edge. And then this one has, instead of having a Rosewood neck, it has a, um, what do you call it? Maple, right? Right. Matching headstock. This is about brand new. I love the way this feet these bodies feel. One, two, three piece, wait, three, three piece body. No cracking anywhere. Nothing going on. No push pull. Locking nut, which are loose. No bad cracks. On the neck. Oh, I love these Ibanez necks. I love these Ibanez necks. Frets feel, frets feel very, very nice. So that's it. This is the other purple burst. Now this one doesn't seem like this is as dark as the other one is, but uh, she sure looks as pretty as the other one does. So I got some things I have to go over on this thing before I can really say too much about anything. Um, like remove plastic pieces here and there and do a little bit of a setup get this Floyd Rose where it's supposed to be um, there are three springs inside of here but they gave you an extra one which is kind of nice can remove this tag here now this one has the reverse headstock compared to the other one ah. er. 
Oh well, I'll have to get something to remove that. So there she is. Another to add to my collection. Somebody, please help me. You know, do something. Make up some type of a, 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 a resource center for me to go to to stop buying guitars. All right, so welcome back. And uh, this is going to be the finalization of this video. So, uh, excuse me. As you guys know, I buy a lot off of eBay. And uh, a lot of my friends end up sitting there, you know, they know I'm looking on my phone when we're in a hangout or chatting or whatever, and they'll sit there and say, buy me, Eric. So that's kind of like a, an ongoing joke, which is kind of bad because it, it, it's true. <laughs> I find something on eBay that I'm interested in or whatever and I buy it. So how do you look for certain things that you want on eBay as far as uh, you know how to purchase and, and what you do for bidding and shit like that? Well, it's really no secret. I mean, the bidding part of it basically is, um, you know, always wait till like the last, depending on your internet service, okay? I always wait till the last three seconds before I put my max bid uh, hit the button for the max bid. You set up your max bid, you just wait for the timer to get close to three seconds, and then you push that button, and uh, hopefully you get it in on time to where your max bid was higher than somebody else's. But you have to be also um, uh, reasonable with your max bid as, bid as well. You really don't want to go over the price of the item that you found uh, if you do the research on it like I do. Uh, I use price. For, for say. So say if something that you found on eBay is going for uh, bidding at 150 bucks and you found that item for 175 bucks used on eBay and you're looking at basically the same thing, a used item, uh, you really don't want to go over, you know, too much over that $175 because what that used number is, is basically a document now on eBay of that item selling for $175. And um, they can lowball you if you try to sell, you know, try to sell the item that you end up buying and stuff. If you try to sell it, a lot of these, uh, I don't know, pawn shops or whatever, they kind of look at eBay now as uh, a price range of how to how to buy your item and still make a profit for themselves. So you got to watch out for that. <clears throat> so most of the time. A lot of stuff that I have, I don't take to pawn shops. Uh, I don't take to the music store. I don't do. I don't trade. I don't do anything like that. Um, a lot of it's stuff I end up giving away, and that's how I can give away certain guitars and stuff because of the price that I paid for them. They didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Next thing that I'll do is I will. Well, first, first off, I'll go on eBay. And I'll hit bids. You know, go to all the the auctions, and then I'll go to U.S. sellers only. Uh, you know, gotta stay away from those chipsons, and then I'll end up um, uh, narrowing my search down to basically what's ending sooner, sooner or soonest. I don't think soonest is a word, so we'll just use sooner. And I can see and you know choose something that I'm interested in, and uh, you know keep a watch on it, especially if the bid is low at the time. That last few minutes of a bid is when that auction price starts to skyrocket okay so you have to watch for that too and I will set myself up at, for a max bid of an item that I've already done research on so in research I basically look up how much that item was new how much that item sold for used and if I pay too much of the used price but not necessarily going very directly towards the uh, new price, um, it's still worth something to me. So I won't go over a certain point, okay? So you have to, you know, kind of use discretion when it comes to uh, how much you're going to put in there for a max bid, and remember that it could reach up to that max bid. So I'll go say if it's the bid is at $150, I'll put 200 bucks, okay? And if it starts to go over that $200, uh, I'll just say, forget it. You know, I'm done. I'm not going to buy it. It wasn't meant to be. But it depends on the item as well. Say if it was like a, a Gibson Les Paul or something that uh, um, somebody was selling for, you know, say 
800 bucks or something and you looked it up and it goes for like two thousand dollars well there's a reason why somebody is is lowballing it so much because condition might not be there so that's another thing you got to look at as well pay attention to the photos pay attention to what's in the description on ebay and zoom in you can click on a photo and zoom in on it to see if something doesn't look right or whatever. That does help with the uh, the buying of it too, and other people are doing the same thing. So, well, it does help with the decision of the buying. And my Gibsons I've got from Z Zounds along with a couple of ESPs and a few Ibanezes that I bought new. You know, all that stuff was bought new. A lot of the stuff that I've been doing unboxing of has been eBay stuff. That I've been picking up, like the purple less or the purple uh, Ibanez that I just did. That guitar I paid uh, two sixty four. Okay, so I looked up the used price and I looked up the new price. The same with the other purple Ibanez that doesn't have the Floyd Rose, and I paid a hundred and I think it was like one hundred and fifty some odd dollars. Some I pay I can't remember exactly how much I paid for that one, uh, but I got them both cheap, and those guitars range for like five hundred bucks sometimes better depending on uh, what seller you're looking at and I'm not talking about eBay sellers I'm talking about actual music store sellers online or at your local music store so you gotta use a little discretion as far as your purchasing and uh, make sure that it's worth it to you especially if that bid starts going up how bad do you really want that item and always remember you can actually find that item cheaper someplace else as well so if you miss out on a bid well sooner or later someone's going to have another one up on ebay and it's either going to be in better condition than the first one that you found or it could be worse but chances are you will find something better okay and if it is in a little bit worse condition and you are mechanically inclined, you do know how to do certain things with guitars, you, do not, you know how to work on finishes and stuff like that, well, that could be a project for you to get that guitar back up. But as long as that price reflects the condition of that guitar and if it's worth it to you. Also, another thing to look at is seller feedback. You know, I stay away from anything that is under 96%. 100% is always good. Read what the seller feedback is and determine by that if it's worth buying from this person or not, depending on what that feedback is. So that's what I've been doing, how I've been doing it, and uh, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. So somebody out there really needs to make some type of an intervention for me or for other people like me who like to buy guitars and collect them and uh, you know so I, I, I need help anyways um, I'm going to go back to try to enjoy my so so far just a cloudy day we've been having some really shitty weather out here and it's been stormy at night sometimes during the day uh, my heart goes out to everybody out there who has lost a loved one or their home their family um, due to the tornadoes that have been going on out there and i gotta say you know every year that goes by this weather has been getting worse and worse and worse these tornadoes have been getting a lot more frequent and uh these storms have just been unbelievable so it's like you know maybe in the next 50 years you know the world's going to end up blowing up or these storms are going to end up taking all of us out of here but until the world blows up uh you guys keep on rocking on and take care of yourselves and others. So, later.